Well, hello everybody, Bug Eater 64 here, and yes, I'm going to be flying my Aeroworks DC-3 in X-Plane 12. I thoroughly, thoroughly have deep feelings for this old girl. Uh, over the years, I have, in the DC-3, C-47, I have made parachute jumps out of her and uh, taken a few rides in those existing aircraft that are still flying and there's quite a few of them. Some have been updated to turboprop as uh, Bachelor 67 but just a great old workhorse that's still viable today in the skies. So we're going to be flying this girl from Dallas Fort Worth International down to Corpus Christi International which is about 309 310 miles and uh, we're going to be carrying people and cargo as normal in FS Airlines so it should be a pleasant flight there's going to be some scattered clouds and so on but the weather's looking really good so with that let's get into X-Plane 12 and my Aeroworks DC3 See you inside. Okay, so here we are at Dallas Fort Worth. Let's go ahead and get in the cockpit here. Alright, so let's see about getting this girl started. So, props, mixture, throttle. Set there. Generators on. Okay, so keto heat on. Nav lights. No smoking fashion. Anti collision. Taxi lights. Okay, so if we've got this. This 
is going to be a direct flight, so... Easy flight plan. I do like this better. So... Okay. We're at the Northeast parking ramp and we're gonna taxi out to runway 17 Charlie. X-Plane and Microsoft. Microsoft both have the same problem. We're in X-Plane 12 right now, and they'll have vehicles drive right through your, your aircraft. It's just wrong on so many levels. And this being the AeroWorks Freeware DC-3 slash C-47, in my opinion, is the best. DC-3 in either simulation. Uh, until a new one comes, this is my go-to girl. She has worked so well for so long. Okay, so get out of here on 17 Charlie. And it's going to be a crosswind takeoff. We got lots of wind today for some reason. So, all right. Hang on to your butts.
Okay, gears up, flaps are up. to about 6,000 feet. Bidding up, you can see how the wind is buffeting us around. Okay, so we are approaching, okay, 10 miles out, well, 12 miles, getting ahead of myself there. Yeah, 10 miles, I'll go ahead and start our descent. Aircraft is mine. Autopilot is off. Okay, so, that being the case,
thing is useless. Okay, so. Christi Control, CJX 700 on approach, runway 31. CJX 700. Okay, gears down and lock, flaps three quarters, landing lights, taxi lights are on. We're looking good. And we got wind coming from the left. We're, we're big time crabbing right here. That wind is really busy today. Ooh, this is going to be rough landing a tail dragger in this wind. I 
a smooth touchdown, but whoops, oops, 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 oops. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it wasn't pretty, but it's safe. Come on, what is going on here? I shouldn't be ground looping. Pretty awful. Yeah, get back on the runway here so we can taxi to parking. Corpus Christi Control, CJX 700, clear runway 31, CJX 700. So... Okay, so we got the aircraft parked. Let's look at that landing again here. You can see how the wind is kind of buffing it in and around. It made a pretty good wind. I don't know what the exact uh, wind speed was, but the crosswind really played hell with this old girl. See how much she was crabbed in. Just couldn't hold her on the center line, but 
it's touched down on the main runway. But as you saw, we weren't able to hold her there. And the replay system in X-Plane has always been, in my opinion, very good for, for what it needs to do. And with the latest updates with X-Plane 12, the replay system is working and, and it works fairly well, but it, it did something this time that it has happened many times too often. And like that glitch, you saw it bounce the airplane up off the runway and put it back down. You're going to see that again. And it did it again. See, it actually lifts the aircraft up off the ground and sets it back down on the tarmac in the taxiway there. You're going to see that, and the reason I'm showing this, at the end here, you're going to see it happen one more time. Which made it completely impossible for me to go back and do the replay of the takeoff, which I normally try to do. But I wasn't able to do it this time, and very shortly you're going to see why. again. Now as I pull up here to in front of this hangar a fuel truck actually showed up in the first when I was actually doing it right behind the airplane. So I stopped here and I went to stop the replay and it picked the airplane up slammed it down on the ground and this was the result. It crashed the sim. I wasn't able to go back to begin the flight again. And this is what we were left with. My DC-3 sitting on the ground burning. That's just wrong. <laughs> so, so wrong. Alrighty then. Well, flight went well. Flight was completed. Um, a lot more wind than I expected, but she flew flew flawlessly. She really did. And uh, when we landed, of course, uh, not my best landing. 
we had to crab her in and when I touched down uh, it was I overcorrected and th the wind was just kind of throwing me around and so we ended up leaving the runway but we kept her on her wheels and uh, got her to the parking area without incident until <laughs> When you can see when I'm parking the aircraft, doing the replay section, uh, X-Plane 12, um, it kind of glitches periodically. Don't know why, but it did. But this time it glitched and bounced the aircraft off the ground once I had hit the parking brake and was getting ready to stop the replay. Once I hit the switch to stop the replay, it bounced the aircraft up, threw it on top of a fuel truck, and as we saw, she was laying there on the ramp, burning. My poor girl. Anyway, I sure had a lot of fun with that flight, and uh, we got credit for it because that was after the flight was over and so on, and it didn't happen until we wanted to do the replay. But with that happening what it did it crashed the flight I had to restart and I could not replay the takeoff so I'm sorry for that but it happens from time to time so with that hope you enjoyed it I had a lot of fun bringing it to you I hope you come back for more as always and until next time this is Bug Eater 64 and remember Safe flying. See you next time.